A big way that I've been stopping myself from feeling overwhelmed over the last few months is by making the most of my time, but not jam packing my days, really being intentional about the way that I use my time to make sure that I get all my tasks done so that I'm not worried about things for the next day or maybe even the month. And I just escape that feeling of time escaping from me. And so in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how I actually do that every single day. Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. I hope that you are all doing well. In today's conversation, whoa, this is not a podcast episode. <laughs> In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how I get myself into a productive mindset every single day. I think I've said this a thousand times on my channel, but my days can be quite hectic and they always look very different. And I do actually enjoy having several things happening at the same time, but I cannot lie to you, it can sometimes be stressful. A way that I try to manage my stress is by being productive. I used to work crazy hours a day and I used to feel like I had to work 24 hours a day in order to get everything done, in order to be a boss babe. I had to be working hard. I had to prove myself by having no sleep. We are working out here, we're grinding. Absolutely not, absolutely not. I've unsubscribed. Uh, but you should subscribe to my channel. But I've unsubscribed from that notion um, of overworking and toxic hustle culture. And I think I'll probably talk about it soon. And this doesn't mean that I don't believe in hard work because I certainly do. However, I've been trying my best to kind of foster a smarter work ethic by setting myself up to be productive throughout the day. And so today I wanted to talk about five things that I have been doing every single day to set me up to have a productive day. Let's get straight into it. Number one, truly I tell you a good day starts the night before with a good night's sleep. Like I said, my toxic relationship with work and my dysfunctional work ethic used to have me out here not sleeping, not sleeping regularly, not having a sleep routine, not investing in having good quality sleep. And it was affecting me. It was affecting me physically, mentally, and therefore it was affecting my productivity and my output. I definitely saw the quality of my work as well as my mental health declining rapidly as the days would go by and the sleepless nights would rack up. But I have definitely started to be more intentional at having a bedtime, a set sleep routine, and actually making sure that throughout the day I am taking care of myself and working towards having a good night's sleep. What that means for me is setting up my room to be comfortable. I've got candles by my bedside, but apart from those aesthetic things, I've also invested in my actual bed and my bedding because I feel like that is actually the biggest thing that impacts the way that you sleep. I actually started to work out this year and actually exercising has helped me be tired enough so that when it comes time to sleep, I actually do fall asleep quite quickly. But what I realized as my body was sleeping and recovering, I would still feel very sore and have aches in my body after I woke up and I am too young to be having aches and pains in my back and in my legs and in my neck and I realized it was because of my mattress my mattress was not it it was doing me dirty and so a few months ago I actually got a mattress from Emma Sleep I had been seeing their adverts on the tube and some of my favorite influencers collabed with them last year and I saw that content and I thought I'm in need of a new mattress let me head over to Emma Sleep and that was like four months ago but recently Emma Sleep actually reached out and asked me if I wanted to collab and I said <laughs> Yes, I've already got the mattress. And so thank you so much to MS Sleep for sponsoring this video because a good night's sleep really does matter. It matters to have a more productive day, to feeling healthier, to really clearing your mind and allowing yourself the necessary rest. It is most definitely past my bedtime, but before I get to sleep, I wanted to talk to you about my sleep setup. Like I said, getting a good night's sleep is actually really important for me. Since I am working out quite often now and also still having very busy days, making sure that I get enough rest just ensures that I am not exhausted when I wake up and actually that I am ready to have a productive and good day. And so I wanted to invest in my sleep. I actually got myself an Emma sleep sleep mattress and pillow and they recently sent me one of their weighted blankets and when I tell you the sleep that I have been having 
I sleep like a baby, like an angel, and I deserve that. Emma Sleep is an award-winning UK company which provides mattresses and bedtime furniture straight to your door. When I got this mattress, it was actually vacuum sealed in a box, a really good size box that was able to fit in my elevator, that I was able to get up all the way up those floors and into my bedroom and my bedroom is not big which is why I've got a single bed just for me myself and I but this was super easy to unpack and just roll out and just watch it expand the same with the pillow everything just came in a really convenient sized box and packaging so highly recommend if you have small spaces or just generally you want a convenient setup because mattresses I feel like buying a new mattress is full-fledged adulting right full-fledged adulting thinking about your sleep, thinking about your posture, thinking about your muscles and your, your spine, all of that is grown woman-ish. But Emma Sleep has made it so much easier and also affordable because this mattress did not cost me an arm and a leg. So I'm super thankful that for the last six months I have been enjoying amazing rest and amazing sleep. And don't worry, your girl has you hooked up. I thought of you. Even when I'm sleeping, I'm thinking of you. Emma Sleep is having an amazing Black Friday sale. From the 15th to the 30th of November, anything that is on their website that is already discounted for their Black Friday sale, you can get an extra 5% off using my code Courtney. Yup. If you see something and it's 45% off, still use that code and you'll get 50% off. Why? Because I've got the hookup, okay? And you're gonna get a nice, nice, good night's sleep and so head to the description box down below and check out all the information you need the link that will take you straight to the things that i already have the blanket the mattress and the pillow in order for you to get a good night's sleep with emma sleep and so for me investing in my sleep having a good pillow a good mattress a good blanket has meant that i sleep like a baby really really comfortable i wake up in the morning not feeling tired and not feeling drained ahead of my day the day hasn't even started why should i be feeling so tired why should my body be hurting me I've got to hit the gym and do everything ahead of me and so making sure that I've gotten a good night's sleep and investing in that really sets me up to have a productive day Number two, something that I actually do whilst in bed the night before in order to set up my next day really well is I brain dump I am an over Thinker. I think about everything. Thoughts randomly come to me at random times. I mean, like, I'm one of those people who it will be like 2 a.m., I'm lying in bed and I'll wake up from my sleep thinking, where is my passport? I might want to travel in six months. There are things that I cannot explain <laughs> that happen in my brain. But in order to make sure I don't forget those things and so that I can just tackle them later once I've woken up or the next day when I start my working period, I just write them all down. I get my notes up on my phone and and I just type it all down. I know some people don't like using their phone in bed. I'm personally not that adverse to it. My phone is constantly on dark mode and at about 9, 10 p.m. it switches to night shift, which is basically a warmer screen and certain apps just close and I can't really go and like scroll on social media and stuff. So there are ways that you can kind of make your phone sleep friendly, I would say. But basically I open up my notes app and everything that is flooding to my mind, everything that I feel like I need to remember to do for the next day whether it's send somebody an email or make sure that I pay my taxes like things like that I write them down so that I can tackle them in the morning if they are urgent and just so that I can explore them further the next day so that they're off my mind I personally struggle with retaining everything in my brain my memory is just not that good with things like that and so to make sure that I don't miss out on things so that I don't forget ideas and so that I don't forget things that are crucial for me to do I just brain dump everything even if it's emotions sometimes the day may have been very very stressful and instead of keeping that all pent up inside of me and thinking about everything over and over again whether it was an argument or a misunderstanding or whether it was I had lost money during business whatever it is I write it all down all of my feelings all of my thoughts I get them out on paper so that I don't spend my entire night listening to my thoughts. I don't know if anybody else kind of goes through this, but sometimes I struggle to sleep because I'm not really asleep. I'm just still in my brain and those cogs are still turning and it can be very exhausting and you wake up feeling exhausted. And so brain dump, get everything down on paper and set it aside for tomorrow. Number three, my mornings are me time. They are for me. 
I don't like talking to anybody in the morning. I don't like having to do too many things in the morning. I really wanna get my mind right and my heart right and my body right for the upcoming day. Oftentimes for me, this looks like praying, studying the Bible, and then taking myself to the gym and making sure that I'm having a good thorough shower exfoliating my body, creaming, making sure I feel energetic, having breakfast, taking my supplements, all of this stuff, I get them done first thing in the morning, just so that I feel like I am kind of approaching work from a rested state. I know oftentimes we can talk about self-care from the point of view that it is something you do for recovery, but actually I've been trying to adopt the mindset that rest is both a preventative and a recovery thing. So I really take time in the morning morning to set a good pace so that I don't feel like I'm rushing through the day or I don't already feel behind and I leave enough time to do this. For me, I really like to get my work started in the morning as much as I have been denying it. I am actually a morning person. I do perform better in the morning. So for me, I like to get my work done from as early as I can, well, not as early as I can, let's not overstate these things. But yeah, I try to get my work done quite early on in the day whilst I am feeling at my best. And so I try to schedule enough time to do all of these things. And I don't like to rush through them. I don't like to rush through my workout routine. I don't like to rush through uh, my shower routine. I feel like it gets me feeling more stressed than I need to be. I don't like guzzling down my breakfast I don't run out of the house to go to work I try to set pace for the day I don't want the tone of the day to be stress and rushing and feeling like I'm behind so I take time with my morning routine I give it enough time and I have much needed me time it just helps me to get my mind set straight so that I'm approaching the day with as much confidence and also just a calmness for myself being vulnerable and being honest about what it is I might be apprehensive about, anxious about, especially if I had many notes that I had to brain dump the night before. I kind of go through them and I try my best to think about, okay, why am I having these feelings of worry? How can I tackle them today? Um, and that's what I spend my mornings pretty much doing, just preparing myself mentally, emotionally and physically physically for the rest of the day. So sometimes that is putting on a cute outfit, wearing my jewelry, doing my skincare so that I'm glowing and just feeling confident doing up my hair, stuff like that. The fourth thing is your girl actually works out now. I know I just mentioned it, talking about exercising as me time, but for me, working out definitely gives me the energy boost that I need in the morning. Getting outside, getting some fresh air, or just going to the gym and pushing myself to achieving my goals is one of those things that I can tick off in the morning and it makes me feel as though I'm already being productive. I've already done something hard, something that has pushed and challenged my body, something that has also pushed and challenged my mind because I don't always want to go. Most times I don't want to go to the gym, but it feels good. It feels good to know that I have accomplished something that has allowed me to work on myself and feel like I'm getting better and stronger and fitter. There's something about lifting heavy weights in the morning that just makes me think I could do anything. I, I can, I can do anything. I'm here lifting 60 kg in the morning. Um, and that feels really, really good to me. And also obviously health benefits wise, the endorphins opening up my lungs as a speaker as well. I just find that my brain switches on, my voice switches on once I have finished my workout. And so I highly recommend if you haven't already, even if it's just for five minutes, just do something. Even if it's just going to be stretching, stretch. When I was working like a dog, <laughs> for no reason um, I didn't do any of that I didn't take care of my body I didn't really think about moving my body stretching my muscles paying attention to even what I was eating and all of these things I'm really going to be honest with you do affect your mental health I think we need to be attuned with our bodies and our minds and the body is the vehicle by which all the work and all the purpose and all the stuff that you're doing, your passion projects, your creativity, it is all channeled through your body. And if your body is not okay, oftentimes all of those things get stuck. They get stuck from, and, and they get stopped from actually becoming successful things because your body really doesn't know how to carry them along. And so for me, taking time to actually take care of my body is the best way for me to get into a productive mindset because I already feel energized. The endorphins have me feeling like I, I kind of have this adrenaline and I want to do things. I feel like I'm not tired as well. I feel like after a workout, surprisingly, 
I don't feel tired. And the reason why is I obviously get my workout done in the morning. It means that I can eat a solid breakfast afterwards. Um, and once I have pushed my body, I don't push it to the point where I'm exhausted. I don't push it to exhaustion. I actually take my time with my workouts. Also, once I am done with work, because I have worked out in the morning, I can rest easier, I can sleep easier. I've definitely noticed that since I have started working out, my sleep has been a lot better, but it just gets me in a productive mindset because I've already ticked off my goals, like I said, um, and endorphins. And last but not least, before I get any work done, I write a to-do list and I organize my day. And the way I organize my day is actually by putting all the boring things first. When I started to do this, it meant that I was flying through my to-do list a lot better and actually enjoying my work days more. Because for me, I have the most energy in the morning. And so I can really tackle tiresome tasks with a lot more vigor. And also it means that once I've gotten all of the boring stuff, Stuff out of the way I can focus on the things that actually give me more energy and kind of ignite my passion throughout the day and so by the time that I am done I haven't procrastinated all the things that were important but I just didn't want to do because I've left them to the end of the day so things like administration which ugh, I don't like but they need to get done responding to people's emails responding back to people's messages um, being able to send things across paying payroll talking to my accountant calling people like all of that stuff I keep it to the beginning of the day in the morning when I sound chirpier when I feel happier because if I don't get it out of the way by the end of the day when I'm tired having done all the things that really excite me but are quite draining I'm not going to want to open up my emails and respond respond back to tens of emails. I don't like that because I don't like it. And so it's important for me to stack my day up in that way so that as the day goes on and I'm getting more tired, my work is getting more exciting. And also having an actual to-do list in general means that I'm not overworking myself. I have a manageable to-do list, something that is realistic, something that allows me to feel productive because I'm actually getting through it. And those are the things that I do to feel productive every single day. I hope that this video actually helped you and thank you so much to Emma Sleep for sponsoring this video. Thank you for sending me the blanket as well because now I've got that three piece set. I'm gonna be resting. <laughs> but yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that it was helpful. I hope that these are things that you can maybe implement into your own life so that you can start making the most of your own time and really being efficient, but also productive. So I will talk to you very soon. And as always, stay beautiful and stay blessed. Mwah.